join me for a sunrise cruise aboard MV Solitude. She's a 36 foot pacemaker sport fish from 1976. Here's a look at the main cabin looking aft with our night lighting. Midship, starboard side, she's got two, cat, two bunk beds and then forward berth uh, master suite. From the helm, we're able to get our controls, our navigation, and also gotta have the radar up for night cruising. Even though the skies were clear, beautiful stars, it's just good to know when there's another boat creeping up on you, especially some guys out there don't have their night lights on, although they should. We're leaving our port in Warwick, and the lights on the starboard side, left of your screen, that's Newport Bridge. The sun starts coming up, and what a beauty it is to see. I love being out there at sunrise, at sunset, especially when the water's calm like this. That's the hum of her twin Crusader 350s as we're cutting through the water. At this moment, we're doing about 15 to 16 knots. She can cruise at 20, 22 knots. Most of the time, I like to take it nice and slow. I'm very comfortable. 10, 11 knots, no rush, nowhere to go except out on the water and enjoying the day. This is Warwick Lighthouse. She looks beautiful with the sun rising in the background. It's interesting how one part of the sky would be nice and calm and beautiful with the sun coming up and the other part still dark. Fishing is always great at sunrise and sunset too. You gotta get them while they're biting. There's Newport Bridge, dead ahead. She's a uh, sight to see at night from the water on a clear day with all lit up it's beautiful that's the sun rising over portsmouth rhode island our journey continues and the adventure picks up this is mackerel cove in jamestown it's a nice little spot to anchor out some fluke in there fluke fishing and the water's protected, so it's calm. Here's Beaver Tail, Beaver Tail Lighthouse. It's also a great spot for fishing. I hear there's 82 pound striped bass caught there. Right around Beaver Tail, I look at my fuel and we're getting E, we're getting real close. One of the good things about Rhode Island and Narragansett Bay is there's marinas everywhere. So I put up Wickford Marina up on my GPS, set it as a waypoint and head in. As I'm heading in, I'm on fumes, my starboard motor stalls out it's tough, the current's pushing up against me, the wind's pushing up against me. There's this huge sport fish getting filled up and the gas attendant says this could take a while. So I try to navigate as best as I could in that con those conditions. I thought about dropping anchor. Last second I said, you know what, let me try this engine again. Started right up and I was able to get some fuel. Man, that was my happiest fuel stop ever. Made it back to my marina safely. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.